How difficult is it then for small business to enter into government contracts? Well, it, it depends on the small business. If you have a small business that wants to pursue government contracting and they take the steps necessary to be prepared for the government contracts, it's very easy. They can, uh, they can go after the contracts and they can prove that they're ready and they're prepared to do them and they can win them just like their competitors. The ones that don't want to take that step and they want to just go after it and try to win it without initially getting prepared, it's very difficult and they become frustrated because they're not winning the contracts, they can't figure out why, and they either go four or five contracts or contract attempts down the road, mm -hmm. finally give up, or they finally put the effort into it to get their systems and their people trained to pursue government contracts. So it depends on the, the small business, what type of effort they're going to put into it up front. To be able to what kind them. of help then is available for to small businesses to help them to get into government contracts? There's there's three or four different forms that you could definitely uh, pursue. Number one would be go, to go to the your local SBA chapter, the Small Business Administration. They they can provide all kinds of help guides. They have a website uh, uh, www.sba.gov that has tremendous training uh, manuals and guidelines to help you get started to help you. Uh, understand what the government requires. And then there's also consulting firms out there that are available to provide the services if you don't have the knowledge in your company and you want to find out what it takes to get your accounting system up to speed or your purchasing, there's local uh, consulting firms that would help you. There's training courses all over that are out there. And the training courses, for example, we offered 60 training courses this year, three-hour courses throughout the Denver region. Sterling Innovations. Sterling Innovations did, yes. Three-hour courses that were free to the community. We're going to, and for the uh, period, there's the SBA Small Business Administration will put on courses like this every year mm -hmm. to where it's available for usually free or low cost to the small businesses on the government business factors. I can attest after uh, being a student in one of your courses, it's chock full of useful information. Well, that's